down here. Hey guys, Paul, Perth 4 Before Adventures, and welcome to another trip video. Been itching to get out for the last five weeks. I've been laid up with my calf injury, and today I can finally get out on the tracks. So uh, today we're doing a bit of a recon mission because we're starting to do our tag along tours. So we're just going to go up a plot of course. We're going to go from Cervantes up through Hill River, uh, out to Sandy Cape, or should say up to Sandy Cape. We're going to check out the camping facilities up there for the. Uh, people that come along on the tour and then we're going to make our way back down the coast to the old World War II radar station at North Head and check out the bunkers there so come along for the ride I hope you enjoy the video um, if you want to book for our tag along tours because a few people have been asking if they can come out on trips with us so we are starting to do tag alongs and by the time this video drops uh, we would have already done one uh, but if you hit up our Facebook page like or follow our Facebook page you will see them on there and you can book through uh, just messaging myself or any member of the crew through there and uh, you can get yourself on one of our tag alongs There'll be a few coming up at the end of the year and uh, we will do this one again as well Now I know what you're thinking What has he done? Yes, I know I had to have a shave last night took the beard off after about three or four weeks It starts to get really really itchy and annoying. So yeah, I took it off and uh, besides that the grey doesn't really go with the blue hair. <laughs> Okay, well here we are at what we thought was the start of the track, or our trip, uh, dropping onto the beach here, but as you can see behind me, there's no beach, it's all weed, and there's a, like a bit of a drop off, drop down, and up again, halfway through there, which you don't want to be going through there, so uh, get weed up in your exhaust, um, you have all sorts of trouble, especially when you've been on the road for two hours getting here, so we're just going to drop our air pressures here, and uh, there's another track just up there. Somewhere back where we pass it and we'll follow that track and uh, we'll go from there. And this is why you do reckeys because you come across things like this where you can't get through, um, you can find another way through. So we will drop the air pressures down and uh, hit the track. Okay, all aired down and ready to go. Now I'm going straight to 16. Uh, beaches around here are known to be notoriously soft, so I've gone straight to 16 PSI all the way around and uh, hopefully that will get us through. Now, vehicles we have today, we have Brad, the WH, my WK2, Gary's JK, and we have one of our subs with us, James, in the big blue GU. So, uh, we're actually going to do a walk around on that in a couple of weeks, so you'll see that come up on the channel. But uh, this is James's GU, sprouting the worm 4x4 stickers. And there's a Perth 4x4's adventure stickers there, so that's all right. That's James. 
James is out on our first adventure today. Probably his last. <laughs> He's ignoring me. Bits of valve out of the way. Oh, oh well, so there's the big GU. So no Land Cruiser and no GQ, but we do have a GU. So there you go, we're keeping the Nissan, Nissan audience happy. And you'll notice I'm now sprouting a tyre carrier on the back. I'll go through that a bit later on. Now for those of you that normally tell the difference between my vehicle and Brad's vehicle with my tyre on the roof and his tyre on the back, today we've changed it up. Brad's tyre is now on the roof and mine's now on the back because, you know, we don't want you getting too used to what vehicles we're driving. So, uh, all right, we shall finalise what we're doing and uh, head on down the track. Okay, well we've managed to find a track that's taking us north. Uh, the beach, as you saw, was a no-go because of the weed. Um, so we doubled back a little bit and uh, we found a track that's pointing us in the right direction. But it is a bit tight, so if you don't like scratching your four-wheel drive, it's probably not the best one. But it is just, you know, coastal bushes. It's not like it's dead trees running down the side of your paint. Oh, having said that. and. Uh, yeah, so just coming up on some dunes now, so this could be interesting.
Okay, so we managed to backtrack from the track that we entered on back to where we should get on the beach, but um, there's that much weight on the beach, it's not even worth trying to get through that way. So uh, you've got the choice, you can go along the beach, drive across the uh, seaway and risk it, or you can just go around it a little bit and backtrack and there's a nice little dune system up here that we're going to go and have a play in, so uh, it should be good fun. So James, watch Gary, this is what not to do. <laughs> <laughs> See what I mean? Don't be like Gary. <laughs> folks. It's always good fun playing in sand. Kind of lost all sense of direction now. <laughs> you do that when you stop in the dunes. Oh, that was a bit of fun. Uh, it's always good fun playing in sand dunes and uh, found a nice little descent that you can play on there. So uh, we're going to head on further up towards Hill River now and see what else we can find. If we can find our way out of here because I can't remember which way out. I think it's that way over there. Where are we going? <laughs> we'll go this way.
All right, well that's another fun little hill to play on. Just go up there where our tracks are. It goes around those bushes and comes back down there. It's pretty awesome, but it is soft. You do need a bit of momentum to get up there and uh, the right tire pressures. So well, yeah, there's some fun little bowls to play on through here, some dune systems and some tracks. Some of the tracks are pretty skinny, but uh, apart from that, it's uh, all good. We shall carry on. Alright, it looks like we've come across the river, so we're going to get out and have a look, see how deep it is, because I've seen vehicles go through this on a pipe. So, <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've seen a couple of vehicles float through here. If it's the same spot, I think it is. So, we'll just have a look. Yeah, that's the spot. That, uh, that's, that's the spot. Barry, you're up! <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is the spot where the Wacker boys came through and uh, I'm pretty sure I saw the Cam Wild floating through here. <laughs> right. I ain't going in there. You know. How about, do you want to test out your new snorkel, James? No. no. Oh, God. Brought you along. New snorkel. Water. Happy days. No. Hang on. Did we just record? Patrol driver saying no to a challenge. The patrol driver said no to a challenge. See, there are some out there, folks. <laughs> if you want me to do a quick street wipe now, you'll just cruise through this. Got the plates. Is that what does a walk through for me? Yeah, I know how deep it is. <laughs> if it gets above your knees, yeah, Well, looking at it right there, so. Yes, yes, sir. There's, there's the exit track over there, and uh, we might go that way. Yeah. <laughs> so I reckon we'll be going this way. <laughs> so let's just walk up here and have a look. Oh, this could be interesting. <laughs> 